You've heard that term, happy wife, happy life, right? Well, that is also the key to making sure you poop consistently the right way and stay healthy. Let me explain to you. When you start a relationship, you just put so much effort in, you just get the lady you want or the guy that you want. Let's go with ladies because being a guy. You get the lady you want, you have all the confidence in the world. You put in all the effort, you put in the effort on date nights, you have loads of intimate time, loads of cuddles, loads of sex in all the different positions and you love it. You start telling all your friends about this lady that you've met. You start telling everyone how happy you are. That is the honeymoon period. The honeymoon period is real. Then you start to slack a little bit as you get comfortable. You get consistent. You don't get bored, but you stop putting in as much effort as you used to. And things start to stagnate. They start to slide a little bit. And then they start to go backwards. Less intimacy. Less date nights. More focus on getting the grind. Getting the hustle. Less sex. And your confidence starts to drop. You start to slack a little bit. And at the same time, you know that if you put in a bit more effort and your wife was happier, you'd have a happier life, right? Well, the same thing is going on inside your gut. Because at that time when you had all that confidence, you'd put a little bit of work in the nutrition side, you'd put a bit of work in in the gym, you've got your exercise, you've got your movement in, you've got your mindset right, you had the confidence, your body was in decent shape both physically and mentally. And then you started letting it slide a little bit. And then you started letting it go down a little bit. Then, then you started putting on a few pounds again because you got comfortable. Your health was dropping. Your health was going down a little bit. That hole in the bucket, it was leaking out. Well, that's where we need to look at. Inside your gut, you have millions, millions of living things called bacteria. Both good and bad. Good and bad bacteria in our gut. Its own very massively built up colony. Now, we need to make sure we respect that colony. We need to make sure we repopulate that, we take that colony on date nights, we take that colony and give it intimate time. Take that colony and make sure that, make sure we are giving it the respect that it deserves, just like our wives. And that will mean we have better health. Now our gut health is massive. Our gut health is going to be making sure that we don't suffer from things like depression, don't suffer from fatigue. Don't suffer from brain, brain fog, anxiety, all these different things because our gut is essentially our second brain. We have to get messages from our gut into our brain, good, feel good hormones, feel good pheromones to get to our brain. And if our gut is not feeling too good or it's pissed off, then it might go on the road to our brain, have a bit of a car accident, have a pile up and there's a massive crash there, which is blocking the road, stopping it getting to the brain. Because we haven't fed it right, because we haven't given it the right fuel, the right stress reduction methods. Now, what happens here? Well, you get bloated, you get stuffed up. Maybe you do go to the toilet and the technical term there is probably ass piss. Maybe you don't go to the toilet for two, three, four days, five days a week. You are literally full of crap. Well, that's normal, right? Because Sandra down the road who sells those slim products says, oh, it's normal, but you know, I've got this product. You can have this, you take it, slim tea, and you start shitting it all out. Great. Now you're becoming more regular, focusing on a supplement. However, just like in your relationship, you need to keep up a bit of effort. Maybe not as much as first, Maybe you don't have to keep doing your hair every single time and doing those extra reps in the gym, doing those t-shirt curls just to get your arms to look a bit more bulgy. Not that I used to do that. Or anything. But you have to put in a bit of effort. You can't just settle down and let things stagnate with your health. If you treat your gut just like you treat your wife, happy gut, happy life. Happy wife, happy life. It's no coincidence there. Having a happy wife is the key to having consistent poop. I said it. I don't regret it.